Mm. Yeah, guys and girls, welcome back. Just want to do a quick uh, video on some of the recent news that I've been reading about gaming lately and all of that. And it's by far ridiculous, especially to the gaming community and all of that. Because I love games myself and I like games which has got decent sort of gameplay. A lot of gameplay hours in it, um, single players as well. But I do like multiplayer, but I like it sometimes when multiplayer games are usually done properly. Where you can just team up with people and have like sort of a solo uh, single player games and all that online. Call of Duty is pretty damn decent. But what they've done with the Call of Duty at the moment, they've killed off the campaign. And to be honest, I'm not too sure whether I'll pick up or not. I mean, the only reason I would be picking that game up is probably for the zombies. I do like playing the zombies. And I think the zombies is pretty good, especially the Black Ops ones. But the rest of ones like Exo Suit Zombies are uh, going around jumping around. Ugh, that's absolutely bad. But, um... I've just heard some news recently about the downgrade of the PS4 version of Spider-Man. Apparently because uh, there's a few puddles missing, or not a few, a lot of puddles missing in the game. Or has been downgraded on the graphic settings. Wow. Are we, are we actually doing this? Are we actually moaning about just a few downgrades maybe a few as long as the game looks absolutely fantastic the gameplay looks good the graphics looks great whether the performance would be a lot better um if that's taken away those little few puddles okay e3 now i've noticed this what when they sort of bring out games each year right the the point is they show that on the E3 shows all the games and sometimes it looks fantastic. It's like they did it with The Division uh, was meant to be and all that and they had all this fantastic colouring, all the graphics on there. Suddenly comes to uh, the games for launch for the consoles and they've been downgraded. I mean, obviously they've been downgraded for a reason so they could fit that platform. Maybe they were not using it on the consoles at the time. And maybe they weren't using it on the PlayStation 4 when they were doing the actual Spider-Man game. Maybe they were doing it on a PC. Because obviously some games have to be built on PCs before they come over to consoles. I think it was, uh, if I remember a game. Um, I've got it's called now. But I've got it in my collection. Uh, two seconds. Right. I've just looked in my PS4 collection. Now, there's Killzone Shadowfall. I think it's called, right, on the PS4. Now, when they brought that out, beforehand, on the PC, the actual PlayStation 4 couldn't even handle it because of the gigabytes on it. I think it was over 50 terabytes or something, some ridiculous size. And they were doing it on the computer, so it was taking up a lot. So they had to downsize that and put it onto the PS4. That's the rumours what I heard beforehand, so whether they're right or wrong. But a lot of companies, they have to downgrade certain games and put them on so they actually fit those platforms. And I get that. And like, not a lot of people do get things like this because they all jump to conclusions whether it has been downgraded. If it, I'm okay, okay, if uh, Spider-Man hasn't been downgraded, for all you know, this could be sort of a, a glitch um, they could have just put out there. This could have been some like sort of uh, beta test before they actually did the game. So they did a sort of uh, before E3. And then probably when E3 came along, they added the puddles afterwards because they have to pre-do the games they had to build them up and all that so maybe they were doing some testing so maybe when the game actually launches maybe we might actually get an update for that and the performance might be a lot better and the puddles might be a lot better in that game but my game at the moment i'm waiting for and i think this comes out in october and that's red dead redemption 2 i don't know why they're calling it red dead redemption 2 don't get me started on that either guys and girls because Red Dead Redemption 2, I mean, if we're going to talk about games, why are we talking about Red Dead Redemption 2? Why are they calling it 2 when it's a pre-sequel? It's a sequel to Red Dead Redemption 1. To be honest, shouldn't this, like, if this is Red Dead Redemption 2, then this should follow after 1 and not 
before one. So this is kind of a bit of a ridiculous thing on games. Now, um, Battlefield 5. Don't get me flipping started on this, guys and girls. Right, the gaming community at the moment is so poorly bad at the moment. I mean, you're just complaining about everything and anything that you can. I mean, we've got, uh, apparently, we've got, like, women in Battlefield 5. Wow. Wow. And you're moaning about that. My God. Do you know what? I actually live it. I actually live it for games to have women in games because it actually gives you a choice you could be the man you could be the woman actually they should have it so you could be any gender you like they should just put any gender in video games that way it stops the diversity guys and girls and then anybody if you want to go i mean if you want a bloke going around wearing women's skirts and stuff on the battlefield and all that fantastic it's a person's choice at the end of the day. What they want to do, just put it in the game. Just let people make their own choices in the game. And that way, stops the diversity. I mean, I like change and I like having different choices and stuff. And you could put more choices out on the table and just lay all the cards out on the table. I mean, to be honest, I think the reason why uh, EA have actually put these games back in the first place guys and girls why they've put it back uh, a month or whatever weeks or they're putting it back I think it's to punish those people out there the ones are sick and tired right the ones that keep complaining moaning and stuff they're just punishing them but they're also punishing the people who actually support their company and to be honest they're too right to do it and I think it is also because EA said well, uh, it's entirely up to you whether you buy it or not. Well, it is. It's entirely up to anybody if they want to buy it or not. It's not just having a dig at people about it, guys and girls. And you've got to actually come from their point, from EA's point of view. Now, to be honest, if I made a game, right? If I made a game and I put it on there, right? And I'd put it on the actual uh, forums and stuff. Right, I've got this game. Fantastic. Got women in it. You don't like women? Don't play it. And all of that. But then that kind of makes you sexist and all that. So I try and get into sort of like the way I want to play as a woman on it. I choose to play a woman on the actual game. That is my choice. If I want to choose a bloke, that's my choice. If I want to choose any other genders, that's my choice on there. And we should just have a sort of diversity. Um, not actual diversity. We should have a multiple choice. Of what we would like in video games. There should be more choice to games. And have more options on the table. That we can have. But anyway. Uh, this is why sometimes. The gaming community gets so toxicating. For some reason. It's just because you've got idiots out there. I'm not saying everyone's idiots. I'm just saying that there's. Particular idiots out there. Percentage. Who do not get gaming. And that's basically as well. They're complaining because women weren't in world war one and world war two well actually to be honest guys and girls uh women were in all the battalions in every single battalion you had army women at the front line and all that so don't get me started on that i mean come on you're making out like okay the women shouldn't they should be in the kitchen cooking all your food and lunch no actually you want some lunch you want some dinner or you want some food you go into the kitchen and get it your fucking self and stop being lazy and stop getting the woman to do it and all of that anyway guys and girls if you enjoy this episode do like favorite share comment subscribe and get off your lazy asses as well and go to the kitchen and make yourself a sandwich anyway cheers all for watching and stay safe enjoy the episode do like favorite share comment subscribe and i'll see you on the next episode